uh, on a Christian website, it says the Bible says an asteroid will crash into Earth in 2029. So that's it. We only got nine more years, you guys. Nine more years. Christian writer Thomas Horn would like you to know that an asteroid is going to crash into the Earth in 2029. And the Bible proves it. Of course, of course, of course. Revelation, Revelation 8 mm -hmm. and the first four trumpet judgments appear to describe the different stages of a singular event, a large asteroid impact on planet Earth. Hmm. This is his quote, which I predict is coming in 2029 in the form of the asteroid Apophis. I now believe, in fact, if you were to ask a scientist as I did, oh, wow. to explain why these verses seem to depict this, they would tell you that the details in Revelation 8 very much match the sequence of either a binary asteroid, which is two asteroids orbiting a common barycenter, the area of mass around which two or more bodies orbit, accompanied by smaller fragments, or the breakup of a larger asteroid into two main portions accompanied by tons of small debris as it enters the Earth's atmosphere and is followed by impact. So according to this guy, he sounds like he's trying to make a specious argument. Like on its face, it makes sense that there's some asteroids that orbit things and they do things and they have smaller fragments and they break up. But all of that has been ordained in Revelations 8. What does Revelation 8 say? I don't know. that. This is where the, we need the Christians. Right. Because that's from the New Testament. Right. So, yeah. That's I mean, that end time stuff. Yeah, I've read the, I, I read the book of Revelation. It's pretty, it's pretty dark. But yeah, this is pretty... Um, I mean, does this still work? Like, yeah, per, I, I'm pretty sure like a whole bunch of people are going to start believing in it. But I think this guy is smart. Like, don't say the world is going to end next year because you can't like milk that. Like, how much money can you get from that? Like, you have one year and then it does. the world doesn't end and then like, oh no, I was wrong. You have to put it nine years so that it's, it's close enough for people to capture people's like fears, but not close enough for you not to be able to raise money, too much, you know, enough money, like it shouldn't be too it's close. But did he say that the world is going to end because of this asteroid? According to him, it will um, crash into Earth in 2029. Imagine if I, if somebody came out and said, like, I predict that the Earth was going to be hit by an asteroid according to the Quran or Bible or whatever. And like, people are like, oh, no, it's going to be the end of the world. And he was like, no, no, it's, not, it's going to be fine. It's just going to be... It's, it's just going to hit. <laughs> it's just going to hit. <laughs> it's going to be small. It's going to go into the ocean. I have this huge prediction, but it's going to go be in the, in the ocean and we'll all be fine. People are like, oh, <laughs> what? Well, the thing is, the Christian, there's been so many Christian predictions about right. when the earth is going to end. So you're saying like it has to be not so close. So people, you know, aren't like, ah, what do you mean? You said last week and it didn't happen, but far enough away that he can raise money and also far enough away that he can go, oh, I'm, re I'm redoing my calculations. It's not 2029, it's 2039. Now give me more money, <laughs> you know? Right. So Chris is saying an asteroid crashing into the Earth doesn't mean the Earth would end. Depending on the size, it would either burn up in the atmosphere or break apart and cause some damage. Um, vibrantly just tagged Aces Republic, but there's no comment next to the tag. Um, Jade is the, maybe go Jade, ahead. Jade is saying the Bible doesn't say that there is a near Earth asteroid coming in 2029. So this guy basically took the prediction that the asteroid is coming and he just went worked backwards instead of saying, <laughs> like, I did like, oh, I, I see it in the Bible. So, so Jade is saying there's an asteroid actually coming in 2029, but it's probably not going to hit. And it was only discovered relatively recently. To date, there is nothing that we know of that will hit. Now that is only what can be seen. If it comes unexpectedly from the direction of the sun, well, we're effed. Oh, okay, so you might... So nothing that we see right now. So there is an asteroid coming that is going to pass Earth in 2029. 
very close but not going to hit it. And nothing that we see is ever going to hit Earth. And they're saying that if it come, we might there might be some coming from the direction of the sun because apparently if it's coming from the direction of the sun, it's really hard to see. Oh, vibrantly has a comment with a tag. Vibrantly is saying Revelation eight is a, a new international version is saying the seventh seal and the golden center eight. Oh, okay, that's verse eight. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Yeah, that's definitely an asteroid. It couldn't be anything else. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking if the asteroid hits, maybe it's Allah going to target it to a specific group in order to punish them for right. something. Yeah, Allah and Jesus. According to the biker. Right. Shilpam is saying, can Jesus appear before 2029 to his people like they have been predicting for centuries? Uh, oh, vibrantly continues the verse uh, saying, and I saw the seventh angel who stand before God and seven trumpets were given to them. Yep, definitely Astrid. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.